We often draw graphs, but this is impractical for graphs with many edges. And even worse if the edges are weighted. Fortunately, graph data is often stored in table form, and as it turns out, this is easier to work with. For example, suppose you have to travel a route through seven cities, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Montreal, Atlanta, Chicago, and Detroit. We could try to represent the travel costs between the cities in graphical form, but in practice we'd probably just collect the data into a table. So let the travel costs between the cities be shown in the table. Let's use Prim's algorithm to find the least weight spanning tree. We can make a useful simplification. Since Prim's adds edges to an existing tree, we can read the rows as representing vertices already in our tree, and the columns as vertices that could be added. Informally, we might view the rows as origin cities and the columns as destination cities. Since we can never choose a vertex that completes a circuit, this means that once a city is chosen as a destination, it can never be chosen as a destination again. So as we add edges, we can eliminate columns. So we'll start with the least weight edge, New York to P Philadelphia, where we'll spell out the origin city. And we'll mark that both New York and Philadelphia are potential origin cities. Remember, Prim's algorithm adds edges to the existing tree. And notice that once a city has been included in our spanning tree, we can't choose it again as a destination without creating a circuit. And what this means is we can eliminate N and P as potential destinations. Their entire column can be ignored from this point forward. So now both New York and Philadelphia are potential origin cities. The cheapest remaining destination from New York is B, Boston, at 50. And the cheapest remaining destination from Philadelphia is also B at 100. So we choose New York B, and Boston becomes a potential origin city, but it's no longer a possible destination, so we'll keep the New York B, which we included, and strike out the rest of the column. From Boston, the cheapest possible destination is M or C, both at 200. From New York, the cheapest possible destination is C at 75. And from Philadelphia, the cheapest possible destination is M at 350. So we choose New York C. Chicago becomes an origin, while C can't be a destination. So we'll keep the New York C that we selected and strike out the rest of the column. So from Boston and Philadelphia, M is still the cheapest. From New York, M is now the cheapest at 150. And from our new origin, Chicago, D is the cheapest at 125. So we choose the edge Chicago D. Detroit becomes an origin and D can no longer be a destination. So Boston, New York, and Philadelphia still have M as the cheapest destination. Chicago, now M is the cheapest, and our new city, Detroit, M is also the cheapest. So the next edge we choose is New York to M, Montreal becomes an origin, and M is no longer a destination. And in fact, at this point, the last remaining destination is A, Atlanta, so we choose the least expensive edge, Detroit, Atlanta, at 300, and this gives us our minimal weight spanning tree.